come on in, come on in. What's up, what's good, what's poppin', what's crackin', what's percolating? What is really good in the hood? It is your man, Theo Butler, and welcome to Black Panther, Volume 9, Issue 3, written by Eve Ewan. Episode I ain't saying, I'm just saying what Robin is. Man, y'all go ahead, kind of thing. Y'all go ahead. Before it begin, before it begin, like, share, subscribe. Why? Because if you know me, grow me, and sharing is caring. So if you like, leave a comment. If you don't like, leave a constructive comment. And also, man, shout out to the Rock With Me Nation. Man, I got a special announcement. I'm going, we're going to do it on this video because y'all know I do. Listen, we didn't got monetized. Yes, we will be able to do super chats. We will have membership levels and everything like that. Yes, I, but look, I, do, I know, I know, I know. I, it's shocking to you. It's shocking to me too. Uh, but clearly, YouTube likes the content that we putting out. And I say we because without y'all, we couldn't do it. Y'all like the content that's being put out and everything like that. So we're going to make sure we get all get y'all as much Black Panther content, superhero content, sports content, as much as possible. Because football is coming. So y'all make sure. Have your notification bell on. 1030 tomorrow morning. We talking superheroes and SEC football on Saturdays. Yeah, we're going we gonna to get into this thing. So... Without further ado, let's pop on off into this thing. Like this, this lovely right here. This this is lovely. Uh, first of all, shout out to Torrin Clark for the cover art, bro. You think? <laughs> Got to give it up one more again to Chris Allen and Matt Matt Chater on the interior art, and Jess Jesus. I'm gonna say Jesus. Jesus Arbital for the beautiful colors, bro. Yeah. You know what? Good artwork will make you read a bad comic book. It will. Not, I'm not saying this is a bad comic book. No, I'm saying artwork, the pencilers, the ink, the color. I mean, y'all doing y'all damn thing. So, yeah, shout out to y'all. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, as I like to say, artwork make the comic work. No, I don't like to say that. Anyway, <laughs> we pick back up with T'Challa and Natima, a.k.a. Basa, familiarizing themselves with one another. She flexes on him, and T'Challa basically ignores her. Kind of like how someone makes a sudden move with you. Do that. Right <laughs> and you be like this. That's, that's, that's what my dog did. He's like, yeah, I, 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 don't, I don't even see you like that. And he don't. The line that he says to her, I literally saw in my imagination a cat playing with their food. <laughs> like that, that line right there look like I'm, I'm this, thing, this, thing, this thing could be a rap at the drop of a dime whenever I wanted to. So I'm just I'm just I'm I'm letting you entertain me. Damn. Anyway, a bit of a QA session later, and we get to the crooks of the combo. Folks who aren't cool with Baba Inku in Kisu, in Kisu, in Kisu. Y'all hit me up. Y'all already know I'm trying. So down in the comment section, if I'm mispronouncing it, get it right for me. Um, folks who aren't cool with Baba and Kisu are being snatched up. Considering he's a crime boss, that's not too hard to believe. Because I, don't, you know, you're not gonna snatch up people that's cool with the crime boss. That's that's not what you're, doing. you're trying to have that case. Be, a, be an enemy of yours, unless you're another crime boss. Yes, crime bosses don't care about making enemies out of crime bosses. They really, they really, really don't. Anyway, while pump faking. Like he's the man of, of the community. This is what uh, Basa, I'm sorry, Natima, is letting him know. While pump faking like he's a man of the community, he's actually a gangster. Yes, that's basically what uh, Inkisu is, a gangster. Um, think Al Capone. If you, no, nah, right. y'all might not feel that one. Um, think Hootlum and then, th and then think Bumpy Johnson. Yeah, that might be more. <laughs> I'm just saying because I know you're like, Theo, why, why you didn't say Bumpy Johnson? There, I said it. Bumpy Johnson. You got it? You got it. Cool. Or Frank. Pick one. <laughs> Pick one. Anyway, T'Challa asked the team why she broke into Yobi's office. You remember Yobi from issue one. Y'all know that that is, uh, oh my God, the shingles. Not Bashinga, the God Almighty Jesus. That's not Bashinga's son. Uh, 
I'm going to put the son, the father name down in there. I can't think of it right now, but y'all know that's his son and everything like that. Great job tying old to the past. I talked about that uh, once before. But she broke into Yobi's office because Yobi was looking over some paperwork of one of the wealthy people that had disappeared. She thought she was going to find a lead. She didn't. A little bit more back and forth between the two results in two things, though. She questions his authenticity as the Black Panther. Once again, she does. <laughs> so, and she, she flexes on him. Again, as if the first time when he didn't flinch wasn't enough. This time she throws something at him. But dog just... And she's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you really are him. Yeah. Now, it, it, you know what? I just want to know how she felt. Like I, we we keep it we keep it a thousand over here. We do. I, yeah, I rock with y'all. Y'all rock with me. Y'all rock with me. I rock with y'all. We rocking with each other. So we gonna keep it a thousand. We grown men and women over here. We are. We are. That's why I don't have a channel set for kids. Cause it ain't. No, we gonna have. Sometimes we gonna say some stuff that's not for kids. It, it, fellas, ladies, ladies. Y'all know where I'm going with this one. No, can, can I just go ahead and cut to the chain? I think she got moist right there and there. I said. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that automatically was. I know you're like, Theo, that, no, no, that's not a sexist statement. That's not a sexist statement. First of all, to Tyler, that dude, we all know previous issue, FF, whatever they want to call it, Sue had the hots for this dude. Well, Aurora, they had the hots for this dude. This dude... This dude is the reason why Dora Malazzi lost her damn mind. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. I'm talking about the kid. You damn right. This, he that dude. That that's that's Mr. Savoir Fair. That's that's who that is. Like that dude right there, it is he I I would never walk in the room with the child. Mm -mm, not at the same time. Mm -mm. I either got to walk in first or I got to walk in after. I can't walk in at the same time because that's going to make me feel some type of way. Mm-mm. 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 Y'all put that in the comments. I think she felt some type of way on, the, on in her inner loins when she realized that's who that was. Because just think about it. They didn't been in, they, they've embraced one another. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, hey, hey, hey we keeping it a thousand over here. <laughs> anyway, um, side note. In all the comics T'Challa is currently showing up in, let me just say that everybody is writing his personality the way that it's supposed to be written. It's consistent. He's confident. He does have a little smugness to him. That's whether we talking Avengers. That's whether we talking uh, Ultimate Invasion. That's whether we're talking about uh, the other Avengers issue comic that he's in because he's in Two, he's in four titles, but shout out to every writer that's writing him consistently, because God knows we didn't we didn't get that in the last with the last person. I ain't saying I'm just saying, but anyway, we're gonna keep the party rolling. <laughs> also, because I know people are gonna talk about it. Basil, the team. Okay, so uh, she's basically a cat burglar. That is what that is. Um, she's a cat burglar. Her motivation for helping people right now is because it makes it makes it hard to steal when from wealthy people when wealthy people being snatched up. So <laughs> <laughs> that's what that is. That's what that is. Uh, and, and, and if I'm gonna point that out, I'm gonna give I'm gonna point out to Eve Ewing. Anything that happened in the last run. Is be it she's to me the impression she's giving me she's doing either a one or two things doing her hardest to mitigate it or not even acknowledge it some of the stuff she has to mitigate so that's just me so we got a couple things out there yes uh Natima aka Basa is a cat burglar yes she's a jury yep yeah, but you know hey motivations could be for different things we will touch on that later on in this issue as we continue this review some days later. In the Katu market, we find a young sister in a hurry trying to prepare for the Wakandan wedding of the century. Now, 
I knew it was too good to be true that she was talking about Aurora and T'Challa because Aurora and T'Challa not getting married. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't, no. So she got to be talking about something else, right? Clearly, clearly. What it is that she's talking about, she's talking about a wedding between the bride of the, I want to make sure I say this right, the bride of the Aleo family and a groomsman of the aforementioned Nikisu family. Yeah, that's, that's, that's essentially Aleo is from old money, but they struggling financially. And Nikiyu's family is new money. He from new money that needs to be laundered. I mean, legitimized. Y'all don't know. But anyway, so, and the reason for that is why they don't consider the wedding that took place in burning, because I want to make sure they said it, in burning Xana is because it was in burning Xana. And I know some people are like, man, that's that's still the wedding. I get it. Burning Xana, burning T'Chaka. They've already talked about the fact in previous issues how royalty don't really come through burning T'Chaka, even though it's clearly named after the king. So question, which I think is fair, is is what happens in one city as significant, is seen as significant in that city, in another city? The reason why I ask that question is because I don't believe what happens in Miami that's popular in Miami is necessarily popular in Jacksonville. I don't believe what's necessarily popular in Jacksonville is necessarily popular in Miami. I just think it's two different things. So I think there's some truth to that. I know some people are going to have some things to say, but feel free to talk about it. Um, definitely leave a comment in the comment section. So anyway, according to Zaniba, new character, the wedding is between the bride, and I already alluded to this, Aleo of the Aleo family and a groom of the Nikiso family. Before Faza, Faza is the sister of Sister Queen, Queen, uh, y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because everybody loves that sister. We, we need to get more of her, to be perfectly honest with you. She's been, she been doing some stuff. But yeah, she's her sister. So we got that in there. I can't remember her name, so don't hold me to that. But y'all see the name pop up in the comment section. Um, before Faza is about to finish explaining to T'Challa and his Izzy guys what's going on, three wannabes pop up. Their intent? To let Faisal know that the bride wants an old school meal. <laughs> That's what they, they came in looking hard. Hey, 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 hey. Where you, hey. Queen need a meal. Bride need a meal. Like that, you don't, y'all got to learn how to adjust y'all energy. If y'all want something different, just come in with different energy. Don't come in like the thugs and you don't want thug stuff. People get used to you coming in a certain type of way. That, that's anybody and everything. Learn to adjust how you come at somebody. If you always come in here, but you really want something down here, you can't come in like that because they already here. No, if you want something down here, something that don't require that sense of urgency, don't come in with that tone. I ain't saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> anyway, the leader of, of, of the trio likes Izzy, I mean T'Challa style, because T'Challa just, my dog reached in his in his jacket and T'Challa then him a dog up with just one smooth move. And, and let me just go ahead and say this. First of all, I like the guys that T'Challa has. I, I like the fact that we staying consistent with it, ain't looking any different. But it's messing with me. It's messing with me in a good way because I don't, I don't know how to take this, and I don't know whether it's the the head wrap, the prosthetic eye, the prosthetic legs, or the fact that my dog is yoked up from the waist up. I just don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know how to take this like, and I know if I don't know how to take it, I know ain't nobody to, in in the comic books. I know ain't no comic book characters taking this, taking this, this right here seriously. <laughs> like, okay. But anyway, um, T'Challa hits up Natima. Seems they both have legitimate reasons for uh, being at the wedding now, as opposed to the plans they had earlier. We see Natima pick up something. I don't really know what it was, so I'm not going to speculate. I don't, but what it, while I don't know what it is, I do know what it does. It takes her down memory lane. And when we, she goes down memory lane, we find ourselves many years in the past in Muhanda, which a neighboring city, a neighboring, you know, country to Wakanda, <laughs> specifically in the team's bedroom. And she appears to be packing or running away, pick one, 
as we see the picks and medals on the background, she's an accomplished athlete. She is. And so we, we got that. So we got the author naming her Basa, right? Right. We got the artist drawing her doing some stuff, issues one and two, that we don't think necessarily, I know damn good well I can't do. <laughs> but now we see it on the we see it on the wall, we see it on the we see it on the shelf. We we see it. So we that's the artist giving you a little backstory as to why she's able to do such thing. Okay, cool. So a certain stuff I just want us to see it, let it let it be right there. Oh, um, like I said, we see the pics. There's also a crash and an argument which I can only assume is between her mother and father. What they arguing about, I can't say. What I can say is she, she peace out while they arguing. She does. And I'm assuming she ain't been back home since then. I could be wrong. <laughs> she definitely ain't been back home to kick the bobo since then. Back to the present day in Berna Tachaka, we witness a beautiful celebration that's about to be underway. I know. I said beautiful like this is real. But I'm saying beautiful because damn! Can we give it up one more again to Chris Allen and Mac Chater on the interior art and Hastings of the Talk for the Beast? Let's give it up one more time. Let's, let's clap that damn thing up. Give him a round of applause. Yeah, yeah. How about a round of applause? Give him a stand in my face right there. Like, I, I said it. Comment work, artwork make the comment work. I did this the second time. Y'all, D. Steasel, um, not only are you the Rock With Me Nation moderator, but could you look into copywriting certain phrases that we come up with here on the channel? Um, artwork, make the comic work. I believe that's one. Um, yeah, we, we need that. Yeah, let's make sure we get that and everything like that. But anyway, um, back to the story. As the child makes his way through the kitchen in his Izzy disguise, he checks with Natima in regards to her status. Want to make sure everything is on schedule. Sit rep. Make sure everything good. Right, right. When T'Challa's about to deliver the bride her requested old school meal, there's a crash. Natima lets him know that quite a few Wakandans are in trouble and need and they need him to do his Black Panther thing. Like, bro, like, it's about to go down. There's some stuff we need. There's some people about to lose it and they need you to do your Black Panther thing. And uh, considering who that is, what that is, however y'all want to describe it, it's definitely applicable in this particular instance. Pick one. Um, T'Challa gonna definitely need to do his Black Panther thing because that's 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 Deathlock, souped up, but definitely Deathlock. Uh, so yeah, that's the story, man, y'all. That's the story. I, I hope I ain't keep y'all too long. That is the story. We at the seventeen minute mark. Thoughts about the story? I know, I know, I know. People are gonna feel some type of way. This is the first ish. This is the first story art, right? I know people have said some things about they want him on the throne. And everything like that. We get crying families in uh, Bernie T'Chaka. Now, if I was to have a comment about something, my question would be, because Wakanda is patrolled by the Black Panther. Mind you, that's one person. Always has been. It's one person. And even though he should have a, a superhero team in Wakanda, there's, there's no superhero team in Wakanda. It might have been agents of Wakanda back in the day, but before them, and we don't know what's going on with the Dora Milaje. We don't know what's going on with the High Toots that I say. It just ain't there. It, it, it just ain't there. I don't know. I know crime bosses running around in some cities considering there's supposed to be a Black Panther there. I know some people are going to have a hard time with that. I know. I know. I know some people going to have a hard time with that. I know, I know. Cause you, you would like to think that the whole time that Wakanda has been around, understanding the tribes have had issues with each other and everything like that. Because I know doing Roxanne Gay's run, right? I do know doing that run, World of Wakanda, word got out from the Jabari lands that folks was acting up and Anika and Ayo handled that business. Um, and Bala, we holler at you, dog. <laughs> but I, so I don't, I know people got questions. I don't have the answers. What I do know is this. I know the doors guard the throne. Nahanda created the doors with the explicit purpose of guarding the throne. To a degree so she could run around and do her thing because we ain't going to act like one of them didn't have a charm. 
necklace on. I know that the high tooth Zaraze were established by Tachaka. They extinguish all threats to Wakanda. That's what they do. Whether it's in Wakanda, outside of Wakanda, it's the reason why they call them the secret police. They extinguish all threats to Wakanda, whether it's inside Wakanda, whether it's outside Wakanda. That's their job. So you got two military branches that have their own distinctive purposes. The doors guard the throne with their life. The Hatu Zaraze, the Hatu, they extinguish all threats to Wakanda with their life. That's what that is. So I don't know. It is what it is. Uh, we hear now though. We hear now though. And issue three is better than issue three. <laughs> so anyway that's my time i'm out make sure you click like share subscribe we got more content heading your way make sure you got the notification bell on we like i said tomorrow 10 30 make sure you bring your coffee cup make sure you bring your coffee cup make sure you bring your breakfast food because this is informal we're gonna get it in we talking superheroes and sec football yes we are so make sure you in the place to be i ain't saying i'm just saying peace